Hey guys, how you doing? Mark here. Today I am doing a, another brake fluid change, this time on a V-Star 650. This is my friend Dell's bike. He calls it Black Otter. Um, originally, I think he was going to call it Otter Chaos, but he changed his mind and now it's Black Otter. The reason I want to do the brakes for him is because uh, recently he went down to Florida to see his daughter and stuff like that, you know, because she's She's growing up, she went down there for college and everything, and so he spent some time with her. But while he was there, he went to a Harley shop and he got me a little gift, and I wanna show you what the gift is. He got me a little, a little gremlin bell. It says, uh, live to ride. So yeah, nice sound to it, I like that. It's not as, uh, Stinky as those other uh, cheaper metal ones, metal bells that are out there. But yeah, so since he gave me that, I'm going to change his uh, brake fluid for him. And it's actually a really easy job on a, on a V-Star 650 because he's only got one brake that needs the oil changed in it. Because the rear is actually a drum brake. And he's only got one disc brake on the front. And I've got a new method on changing the brake fluid. And I want to try it on his bike kind of using him, him as an experiment <laughs> and uh let's see where is it this this is what i'm going to use to extract the fluid out of his system it's just a plunger style syringe this is a 150 milliliter syringe i'm going to put the hose on here just like i do when i'm doing regular brake fluids so i'm going to put the hose on the end of here i hope it fits yeah just like that so just like that the hose is on the other end will go on the uh on the caliper nipple and we'll just basically i'm going to extract all the fluid out of the uh, main reservoir clean it up and then i'm going to put this on the caliper pour the new fluid in and just start extracting all the old stuff out of the system should be a good way to do it if i can uh actually get it to work so let's find out <laughs> just like on my bike we're going to start by taking off the cover to the reservoir here whoops <laughs> where did it go i did not hear it hit the ground okay so there's that Uh, Alright guys, I'm going to take this off kind of carefully because I have no idea what's actually in here, how full it is. Oh jeez. Yeah, it's, there we go. There's a little bit more of a lip on this back side here. Wow, that's, that's nasty. Hey, look at all this stuff in here. I'm gonna have to do some cleaning on this stuff. All right, looks like there's a little, yeah. There's a little metal type gasket. And that's got the, uh, the rubber on there. I don't know if they're supposed to be adhered or not, but it started breaking apart. Okay. Looks like it's right up to the edge here. I'll tell you what, guys. B and I have this all hooked up. I'm just going to use my plunger syringe to suck up all this stuff. Oh yeah, look at all that. Oh man, there's a lot of nasty shit in there. Alright, I'm going to use my towels to clean up the rest of it. Oh. 
Hey guys, I just wanted to show you what I'm dealing with. Look at all this corrosion and stuff that's happened in here. I mean, this stuff is just, yeah, I can just scrape that off my fingernail. You know, and that's getting into his brake system and stuff too. Wow. So yeah, lots of cleaning for this. I'm gonna start with a nylon brush and see if it takes any of it off. Uh, yes and no. I think it's more of the plastic body of the of the uh, thing that's taken most of it off. I've got this little metal bracket. It's not sharp or anything like that, and I don't need it to be. I just need an edge to scrape off this this crap. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me zoom you in. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just taking this, this dull edge of metal, and I'm just scraping all this crap off. I know a lot of you guys are probably sitting there yelling at me for using metal to scrape this stuff off, but geez, I really just cannot think of another way to do it. I've got a couple of Q-tips here to clean it all up too. Don't know exactly how, how that piece was supposed to work, but it was just kind of sitting in there at the bottom. God, this stuff is just nasty, nasty. This has actually got to be one of the worst um, cylinders I've seen. I mean, this is just ridiculously dirty. I would say that that brake oil, that brake fluid was probably new for the bike back in 2000. <laughs> I really think it's that bad. Okay. I think I've got it all pretty good. I'm not really seeing particles laying around much. I mean, there might be stuff in that corner, but I just cannot get my Q-tip in there. Here, what, let's try to see if I can scrape it out of there. Yeah, got a little bit. Oh, actually that looks a lot better right there. <laughs> All right, I think that's good. Okay, I did look it up and this takes a four, a dot four brake fluid. So that's what I'm putting in. Close to the top edge there. It may have dribbled just a little bit. So I'll clean that up. Okay, so here is our caliper and here's our bleeder nipple. So we're going to take the cover off. Not even attached, it was loose. So I'll have to remember to put that back on. And that looks a lot smaller than a standard bleeder nipple. That does not look like a 10 millimeter. And it is not. All right, got to figure out what size that is. Okay, let's try an eight. Yep, eight millimeter. I want to make sure I can crack it open before I go any farther. Oh, wow, that's, that's like really tight. Hold on. All right. 
I'm undoing this bolt here in the hopes that I can just move this out of the way a little bit. It's kind of like that. I get my eight millimeter on the All right, I got it loosened up. So now I should be able to put this back on. But now I can hook this up to my bleeder nipple. Come on. There we go. believe I got it on there guys looks like it's on there all right now I can just take this this little eight millimeter wrench and crack it open just a wee little bit and then I should be able to just pull on the back of the plunger and suck out some fluid I was thinking I'd be able to do that. Maybe I don't have it cracked open enough. Let's try a little bit more. Here we go. Just didn't have it cracked open enough. And I don't want to go too far with it because I don't want to suck air from my uh, master cylinder. So I'm gonna go real slow with it. Oh, am I starting to get air bubbles? I'm wondering if I'm emptied it out already. No, I still got plenty in there. So all those air bubbles are actually what was in the system. Either that or else my hose is coming loose. So I'm not drawing anymore. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's going on here, guys? I'm thinking that just my, uh, my hose came off my nipple here. I'm thinking that's all it was. So get that taken off here real quick. Let's see if my players here can get the hose on a little bit better than my hands. Let's get it cracked open again. Gosh dang it. Yeah, it's definitely leaking around the hose. Because basically I have that closed off now and it's not sucking anything up. All right, at least it's starting to come clear a little bit. So I'm getting some stuff out. Okay, let me uh, double check the level. Well guys, I don't think this is working as well as I was hoping. I think it's just too cold for these, uh, for this rubber hose. I've gotten quite a bit out, but I don't think I've gotten all of it out. I mean, maybe you can see what I've gotten in the, so maybe it's good enough. So yeah, maybe I'll just say that it's good enough. 
I mean, I've got quite a bit out of it, really, I have. Just tightening up the nipple. And then uh, I'll check the fluid level up there. Yeah, the system just didn't work like I was hoping it was going to. And I think it's just because it's still cold, that hose is actually quite uh, rigid. So it didn't just seal around the uh, nipple like I was hoping. But I think I did enough and uh, got enough good fluid down into the system now. So that's why I'm going to leave it. Put the nipple back, nipple cover back on there. And then let's go up there and uh, check the fluid level of the actual reservoir. That's good for now. Let's go get the uh, other stuff cleaned up. So I'm actually thinking that I'm going to take this stuff inside and actually wash it with soap and water. I know you don't want to introduce water into a brake system, but this stuff is just nasty. I mean, yeah. I do have a, uh, a brass bristled brush, and I'm going to use this to actually scrub the metal parts and then just wash up this rubber. Let's go inside. All right, guys, I got to make this quick because my uh, batteries on my wireless microphone are actually dying. So I want to try to do this as fast as possible. No soap, just water. There, I think that's good. Now, of course, I'm going to thoroughly dry everything. Ooh. I'm trying to fold these completely open and try to get everything, anything that looks shiny wet is what I'm trying to get to. I think that just about does it. Just like that. Cool. Okay, so if I remember right, guys, this piece here was laying with the with this end facing high, and it was literally just like laying in there. Oops, not like that though. <laughs> I wonder if it was, it was like that. And the, uh, you know, you guys can't even see that, can you? Okay, so that metal piece, there, that little bulge down there at the bottom, it uh, connects to that, and then the, this side up here connects right to the uh, this rounded part for the uh, screw hole. Okay, I've got this whole thing put together, but I'll take it apart for y'all. So, this goes down first, a little rubber gaskety thing, and this, uh, where was it? This was laying down like that. And then the cover, this little tab right here goes into this little spot. And that goes on like that. Because of this right here, there's a little notch cut out. So this can only go one way, just like that. And I think this is just an aftermarket cover. I don't think that it's original. There's one side, and there's the other side. Okay, so that should be it. Okay, guys, let's give this a little bit of a shot. Now, Dell's got a little bit of an issue with the bike and that he needs a new battery, so I can't start it up and actually go for a ride with it. But to uh, test the brakes, I really don't need to. So. Yep, brakes work. 
I'm not seeing anything shooting out anywhere. So I'm saying that's a success. Now it did not go as I was hoping. It is cold, it is below freezing. And I think that uh, hose that I put on with the cold, it was just too rigid and it didn't have the flexibility that it would normally have. So when I was drawing it, it stretched out to go over the bleeder nipple, but then it was allowing air to go through and that's why I was having such a hard time. But I was able to get enough of the fluid down through the system and come out and now he's got nice, fresh, clean brake fluid and the brake fluid level is good. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. All right, so, well, though, that's my thank you for giving me a gremlin bell. Appreciate it, dude. All right, I'm done. I'm cold. I want to get back inside. It was warm in there. All right, this is Mark saying thanks again for watching. See you guys on the road.